work it out something that is going to be used for those who are preparing for NET and JLM and all those entrance exams. So those who are having a dream to be a lecturer, they need to learn all these things. How are they going to work it out or what are the basic provisions that need to keep in mind while dealing with this. So let's start with the basics. So here we have the famous characters from the major plays. Achha, class we are going to work it out the certain famous characters. The certain famous character for the certain place. The place those are really very famous and the place those rules for the characters do come in a paper on a positive manners. So they are not going to work it out the 15 or 20 or the 30 place. I am going to work out the 10 to 12 place. Those are going to be very essential as very important. So you need to clear these points from the very beginning. Let's start up with the Hamlet. You all know who the Hamlet, the most important play by William Shakespeare. So let's start up the certain important characters from the play Hamlet. Here we have Hamlet, a play by Shakespeare. Now what we need to work it out, now this is the first character of the character, the very first character that is from Hamlet, is the Hamlet himself. Hamlet, the Prince of Denmark. The Prince of Denmark. Then we do have the second important character. Aapne ka sir, sabse pehla character humayi paas Hamlet aata hai. And the second most important character is Claudius. Claudius. So you must know the Claudius. Who was that guy and what was the basic procedure. So we need to work out. That's Claudius. The king of Denmark. I must say his uncle. Initially he was not a king, but after the death of late, exactly the late king of Denmark, Hamlet's father, he was known as to be the king of Denmark. Then this need to work out the most more character that's no other than gratitude. We need to work it out. The mother of Hamlet. The Queen of Denmark. Then there is one more important character that we must know Horatio. Horatio, the loyal friend of Hamlet. The loyal friend of Hamlet. Then can we work it out? One more character that's name we need to work it out. That's one more character is really important. Ophelia, you must have heard about that girl. Really, the beloved of Hamlet. Ophelia. The daughter of Polonius. And the beloved of So this class is just the introductory parts of different plays or the certain important characters. Those are really very famous characters as per NET, JRF, NET, SEC, all other papers. We need to remember these characters. This is something very important. So these are some characters that we have to come here. Like in Hamlet, there are 5 characters that are important. Which we will highlight. Hamlet, Claudius, Gatitude, Horatio and none other than Ophelia. We need to clear this. Now jump up to the next place that is waiting for Godot. If we are dealing with it, I said waiting for Godot to work out that this is really this is really important play. So who have write the waiting for Godot is a Samuel Beckett. Really he was the one who dropped this. So here we will jump to Hamlet. We will deal with Hamlet. Waiting for Godot. And I really want people those are watching this video do write these points. So you can learn them by here that that's going to be working out while the time of paper. So let's start up the number two waiting for God out. Waiting for God out. So what are the main characters of waiting for God out? So I must say the two names. Redmain and Astron. Yeah, Redmain and Astron. The two tramps, exactly the two tramps, also known as Didi and Gogo. You need to remember that the whole story was these two characters, around these two characters. So we need to work it out. The Vladimir and Astron.
Let me and Esther gone now. The two trams. Also known or also called each other. By the name. Didi and Gogo. You need to remember that. They also called each other by the name Didi and Gogo. So we need to work out these two characters, Platinum and Astron. Then there are two more characters for the play. That's Lucky and Pozo. You must have heard about these two. The Pozo was the honor and the Lucky was the safe. So the next one, Pozo and Lucky. Honor and the slave. So one more character, my friend, the one more character that is really very really important or I must say very famous, really very famous throughout the place we do have seen. That's God of Oak. So do you think the God of have any role to play on the stage? No, he was the one who had no role, definitely have no role. He was not being seen on the stage. He was the one character throughout the beginning till the last, the whole character appears. But he never appears on the stage. The whole story moves around the God of Oak. They have been waiting for the God of Oak from the beginning till the last, but no God of Oak.